Okay, so here we are looking at the avatar swimming, uh, the butterfly. Uh, and the first thing that we're going to see, you can see our, his hands are up front here, the head's down, right? So everything's kind of working in this direction right now, kind of coming down through here. This is uh, uh, a stroke that we've um, engineered, so it's got a little deeper uh, in the front here um, to try to gain more leverage. Now, as he starts to pull back here, this is what's called A2. So A stands for arms, H for head. There we go. Let's try that again. H for head, T for torso, and L for legs. Okay, so let's clear that up. And then coming back, as his arms come over here, this is what's called A, zero. When his arms coming over, as soon as they hit the water, that's going to be A1. And now, as he starts to pull back here, this is A2. So, A2 goes to the top of the head right here. And so, it starts in front here, goes to the top of the head. That's A2. All right, so that's that section. And then from there, back to the xiphoid is A3. And from the xiphoid back, is a four. Now this is important when you're talking about timing. So you can start to understand how the head goes. Now when the head goes down, that's H1. When it's going down into the water. It's H0 when it's lifting up. So it's going this way, H0. I'm gonna put a little, whoops, that sounds like, that looks like headquarters there. Okay, got it. So there we go, like that, H0. So very important that you understand this. So we're trying to match which one matches with which. So as we go through here, you see the head lifting, that's H0. All right, so now as you watch the hands, they're going to go back and they're going to position themselves on the front of what we call the pressure field during this motion here, which is A2. Right, that's at A2 right in here. And it's coming back this way. Now you're going to start to, once you get to the top of the head, the head, you have the head lift, or what's called the upward rotation. Okay, that's going back. So the A2 section, you're not moving the head. And in the A3 section, you're lifting or rotating the head upward. You got to get to the point where you can get your lips out of the water because in A4, you're going to inhale. Right? So watch it again. A2, you're not, you're leaving the head down. A3, this is head is H, right? The H0 is coming up. Head zero, right? Which is the lift or if you want to call it the upper rotation, right? Then a four. So that's how much time you have from the top of the head, the hands at the top of the head, all the way back to where they're passing under or, or across from the xiphoid. Now your inhale is going to occur during a four, and that's going to go from the xiphoid back while you're in the water right there that's your inhale right here all right so that's where you're at the top of h h zero and you're inhaling still now the head once the arms are finished the inhale has been taken the head's going to start to go downward it's leading the arms. You don't need any more air. Head goes downward here. That's called H1, right? That's this one right here, H1. And this is A0 as it comes out of the water, right? And it comes over the water like this. That's A0. There goes the head downward like this. And it's already in the water. The hands have not touched the water yet. Okay. So that is what you call the head, either the drop 
or the downward rotation of the head. It's H1. All right, let's clear this up one more time. Put our head, put our head in the water down like this, right? Then we go through A2 right there. As soon as it gets to the head, top of the head, the head starts to lift, right? That's your upward rotation. And then in A4, you're inhaling. Then you're gonna put your head back down, right? So you have your head in the water and then your hands hit. So again, watch this one more time. End of A2. Lift the head, upper rotation, inhale, and then drop the head versus, or, or what you call downward rotation. And then the arms come in. 